Hi guys and welcome to my first vlog video. I thought I'd make a kind of short mini vlog for you today to show you what I do at some days when I don't paint. So I'm going to do some prints today. I have a huge list that I have to work on and I kind of make like a bullet journal with things I have to do but like it's not beautiful as those perfect styled bullet journals. I just have like my um, notebook and I make lists and then I wipe them out when I finish it. So um, that's what I do. And I will have a video about how I reduce my stress and be more productive even if I have more things to do. So that will be on my list um, for the following week, I think, for my YouTube videos. But today, as I said, I will just show you how I do prints, how I fight with my printer and what I eat and that's it I think. And oh, this is the balcony from which I already told you a bit and showed you on my Instagram. I really love making uh, my balcony beautiful and gardening when I have the time for it of course. So these are some of the beautiful flowers and um, here too and I have bamboo as well. This one. So I have the balcony around when I draw because I draw in the apartment and this is just great for inspiration and I don't know. I just want to have flowers and plants around me. And yeah, let's start. Oh, but first I have to go to Bösner in Witten, which is 40 minutes away. And I had have to get some printer paper because I ran out of printer paper and this was not so great because my orders are waiting so I have to hurry now and just restock all my stuff that I need for my final prints. So let's start. And this is what I got. It's in this nice Captain Future tote bag and this is the paper I'm using. It's archival fine art paper from Hahnemühle and I normally use smooth fine art but they were out of it so this is a little it's like kind of exactly like the other one but it is a little bit more textured but the surface is really beautiful so I can get that too the other things I got was just these plastic sleeves I need for my prints because I cut them to make nice prints, uh, to make nice bags for my prints so that they are protected. And I also got some cool stuff and this is, um, this is an eraser pen. So you basically just uh, put like these little things in them and then you can just erase with it. So this is pretty cool. Um, actually these are not for this pencil. So I got the wrong one the other uh, time I was at Bösner. So I just had to buy the right ones for my other eraser pen which is a little bit smaller. So this this one is like a bigger eraser than actually these ones. And I also got some other cool stuff and this is gouache color. I wanted, I wanted to try gouache out for so long and I already had a darker gouache, like a dark blue, but I didn't really, <laughs> I couldn't really figure out a way how to incorporate it um, into my watercolor work and in the last podcast that I heard, I think it was on jo John Dalton's podcast, um, the artist said that she only uses the white gouache to just enhance the body of the color. So that is what I'm going to do with my next watercolor work, which I already started this um, the last day. So I'm going to show you that too. So I got it stacked here because I still, I'm not, I don't really like it yet. So um, this is going to be for a show in Scotland. 
with uh, the Inver Arity Gallery founded by the founder of the Ar Bad Apple Artist Collective, which I'm a member of. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to make another watercolor painting because I didn't had, I didn't create it so much of them recently and I really missed the feel of watercolor. But <laughs> to be honest, um, I am not happy with the outcome. The, when I paint with watercolors, it's like, <laughs> it looks bad, like all of the time and only in the last, I don't know, 20% of the painting, um, it slowly begins to look like a decent painting. So <laughs> I just hit it here so that I don't have to see it. And um, until I will have time to continue working on this one, I hope I can um, make it that I am satisfied with it because like the face is not so smooth, it's pretty grainy still and the color values are off. Not to speak of all the other things that are not that I'm not happy with in the painting. So let's see, maybe um, this will be a good painting or I have to toss it away. I don't hope so. And the other one thing I wanted to show you is this beautiful um, flower bouquet um, we got last week and in summer we really like or just generally we really like to have some flower bouquets just because they are so inspiring and just make the um, apartment so beautiful and I normally just photograph them and use some of the pictures for my own paintings so it's like extra um, inspiring in addition to that they are just beautiful for themselves. And this is my lunch actually. So <laughs> this is a salad because I gained a little bit of weight over the winter and for summer I really love to just be in shape again. So I uh, switched my lunch for salads and only eat like our regular meals for dinner and also breakfast. I keep normal but just for lunchtime I want to be a little bit more um, healthy and not eat so much calorie calories but <laughs> to be honest I already finished that bowl <laughs> with the salad and I'm still hungry so I will just eat more of the salad and I also take care that my dressing that I use is low calorie um, because you can really go wrong with a dressing. You can just destroy your whole diet with the wrong dressing. So this one has like 163 calories per 100 grams. So um, this should go fine. And it's delicious and it's like super easy. You just have to open like that bag and put your dressing on it and there you go. You don't have to do anything. And when you're like me and you're super busy and you don't like to waste that much time with like preparing dinner this is like the perfect diet oh and this is by the way the um, reference picture i frankenstein together for my salt and sand piece so maybe you see now why i'm not that happy with it yet but i hope it will go a little bit more that way and the picture consists of three different images. I photoshopped the head into the body. Um, the hands are from another picture and the arm too. So she didn't hold the arm that way. So I had to photoshop an arm to it. And also she got a flower crown and the background is from another picture as well. So this is how my Frankenstein <laughs> progress picture um, looks like. So, and this is one of the prints that I'm going to print today. And I also have a lot of other prints to print, but I this is the file and I will print it and I will come back when I finished it. Okay, but before I start my prints, of course, I need a good cup of coffee. And especially after I ate my 
lunch because I can't live without coffee and I just love coffee. <laughs> Especially with a lot of milk. This is super important. I need milk coffee. But it doesn't have to be original coffee. So what we started to drink is this one. This is Caro coffee from Nestle, Nestle and it's made of wheat. So there's no actual coffee bone in them. And it's so delicious. It's a little bit like um, like chocolate, but it kind of tastes a little bit like coffee, but it's really delicious. And I use like dry milk for making the coffee and I really love it. So, And there's no caffeine in it, so it's healthy and it's made out of wheat and I really like it. Oh, and that, that is the most exciting part. It prints. I had to clean it because the paper got stuck directly, like immediately. And now it prints and I'm super excited. Will it look good or, have, or do I have to do like another test print? Because this is a print um, I haven't done before. So I'm super excited. How do you look? Okay, I will have to wait until it's out completely and then compare it with the reference photo on my laptop to see if the colors fit or if they don't fit and then in the worst case I have to print it again and I wasted inks and inks are very expensive so I hope the colors fit with this one. It looks good so maybe I'm lucky um, but we will see. And this is how I make test prints. So I'm not actually printing like one print on a huge, on one paper and waste like the entire paper. Instead, I just do like little of them. And here is also an example. And I'm doing it on papers with I, which I wasted myself when I did a mistake. Like this one, I printed on the back. And you can't print on the back of the printer paper so it has only one side but the side is super difficult to distinguish because there's only a subtle difference in the surface so I just use those paper for making my test prints and I'm super happy how this one turns out this again is also the first one of its kind and it's like so cute I think this is one of my favorite watercolor pieces so I will print that out in bigger now and see how it goes. So this one came out so beautiful. I really really love how the surface just complements the watercolor so well. It is almost like an original watercolor piece because it looks so real. So because I scanned the original I have a extremely high resolution because that printer is also capable of scanning. So I just can, when my pieces are in a small size, I can scan them and they look so nice. Okay, my printer is finished making strange noises. Um, and so this one is going to be hand embellished and my hand embellished prints, they are like my favorites and I love to embellish them so much. So. I will show you later how they will look after I embellish them and I will add glitter and oh, they are just so beautiful. So <laughs> I just <laughs> like to embellish prints. Um, yeah. Okay, and I had to print out this one again because I wasn't really happy with the result and I had to waste another sheet of paper which I really hate because I hate wasting paper, <laughs> especially the expensive printer, fine art paper, but it is just too important for me to make a not perfect print and send it out to my collectors. They just should get the best products from me and so I had to do it. And what I do now is that I just cut off the edges of the paper like here and also a little bit on the side so that I have both sides in the same distance and then I just gonna sign down here and that's it basically and now it is signed 
properly and I will put it into the protection bag and I will cut the protection bag too. So I'm basically just remo removing this thing with my other paper cutter for plastic. I use this for plastic and this for paper because um, it get it loses its, its sharpness after time and yeah i will just remove that and also take a bit of the top here so that it fits the size of the print perfectly so and here you see the final version of my embellished print and i absolutely loved how this one turned out you see the golden acrylic color and the glitter I used for her lips and the flowers and here down there is my signature and it is finished in this plastic bag to protect it and the only thing I'm going to do then is I just add little postcards to my prints just to make my collectors happy so that's it basically oh my god I finished the day I am totally KO I just finished this complete list and now I will just <laughs> maybe um, check my Instagram feed and maybe I will edit some videos so that's my evening and then we will watch some shows, some animes and that's it. So this is the day when I don't paint and it is <laughs> super exhausting but i love it so i am sure some of you have similar days especially if you are an artist so let me know in the comments and if you like to see painting tutorials of me um exclusive ones i will have a color mixing painting tutorial available soon at my patreon page where i will mix the colors of a i will print out a face or maybe different faces with um, different skin tones and then I will mix them so that you can see that you can mix skin tones even though if you when you don't have like a huge palette so that I will do tomorrow probably and I hope you have a great day and you are inspired in whatever you do and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so I see you in the next one bye bye yeah.